Dancing Up With G, that's me. My name is Georgia Grant Anderson and welcome to Being On Enterprise. Okay, let's get started. If you don't know, Enterprise is a sitcom on BBC Three starring K.O.D., otherwise known as Roll Sick. So in this show, I was in the pilot episode and I played the role of Jennifer. Being on Enterprise was a blast. For me, it was crazy because this was my first big job. Like this was my first big role on the BBC. Like I remember getting that call from my agent and just being like, mom, I'm gonna be on BBC, you know? And it was, it was, it was, it was an amazing time. Like I, I will never forget. There's like certain things in life that you don't forget. Those ones are the biggest ones for me. Like I just will never forget that. I was so happy. My audition process was I went first for a self tape, and then I went to a recall in person. Now my audition. Oh, I was so silly. Basically, the audition was in Elephant Castle and I don't live too far from Elephant Castle. So I thought to myself, oh, I can leave out, like, you know, basically at the last minute and make it. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. So I remember I was sitting down in the front room with my mum and was chilling watching TV. My brother comes in and he's like, yeah, guys, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to my audition team. And he's like, uh, what time? And I said the time, what time it might have been. And it was like, sis, that's in like half an hour, 20 minutes. And I was like, yeah, it's only an elephant and castle. And he was like, sis, you need to get on the bus to go to the tube station, take the tube and still find your way to audition. And I was like, I'll just make my way then. I will never, ever do that again. I don't care if it's two minute walk away. I will not leave two minutes, three minutes before. So I got, I remember I was, uh, I got to Elephant and Castle and I come out and obviously I don't know where I'm going. So I go into Google Maps and there's a few exits, like the tube station has a few exits. I'm at one exit and I'm like, oh, I think I got out the wrong exit. Oh my gosh, where do I go now? And I was like panicking because I was, it was a three minute walk and I had five minutes to get there. Guys, just don't do this. Like learn from my mistakes. Don't do this, okay, ever. Yeah, even though I got the job, but that's not the point. Don't do it. So I ran, like looked, finally found my, the right north, west, south, found it, quickly ran. Run, 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 get to my audition, and we're like, <laughs> like panting, um, like basically a bit of bead of sweat down here, trickling, and I went to the audition and I said, oh hi, yeah, my name is Georgia Grant and I'm here for the audition. And they're like, okay, calm down. <laughs> like take a deep breath he looked at time he's like you're not late you're all right you're on time and i just thought to myself no there's no such thing if your audition is at 4 30 you need to be there at, at least 4 15 4 20 4 20 is pushing it make sure you're there 4 15 sitting down having your drink of water chilling, thinking about your script, getting into character, thinking about what you're going to say, the questions that you may ask, yeah, that's what you need to be doing, you do not need to be turning up at 4.30 on the dot talking about you've got an audition, no, you need to be there 10 minutes before, 15 minutes before, like, ready for your audition, okay, you need to be ready, okay, like I said, preparation is key, yeah, so, anyway, I, he was like, would you like a drink of water, I was like, yes, please, can you imagine? I didn't even have my own drink of water. So I went, I had a drink of water and I chilled for a bit. Luckily they was running behind so I had time to kind of digest, prep and prepare. Luckily, yeah, you know, I pray up. There's, that's God watching over me, I'm telling you. That's God watching over me because not good. So I go into the audition now, KOD's there, the casting director's there, the producer, a bunch of people are there. 
and like I'm like okay hi and he's like hey so first of all they was like to me we enjoyed your self tape and we would like to like we just wanted to come see you so tell us about yourself so I was telling them about like myself like I think I was probably at college at that time so I was telling them like my college experiences and stuff and just like we we're just having like a nice chat and they're like great all right let's get to business so first thing we did was the script we did the script I think probably once it was only if you I'm gonna put the clip at the end along with my self tape so um yeah so so it was only a short scene so we did the scene and then he was like yeah i want to see a bit more so he was like we're going to do the scene again but this time we're going to improvise at the end so we did that now improvisation i believe not everyone is brilliant at improvisation like it's some i reckon it's something that you can train you can keep going over and learning but a lot of people aren't brilliant at improvisation and I, one of those people, like, I think I was doing improvisation from the jump, do you know what I mean? So everything that I did in the beginning of the acting stage, everything was improvisation. So I feel really, I feel like strong, I feel like I'm strong with improvisation and Funny enough, I haven't done improvisation in a while and when I had, I did like a workshop at the Spotlight that not that long ago and it was like we had, we had to improvise a piece and I wasn't that great, do you know what I mean? So I think that's one of the, it's, I think improvisation you have to keep working on, keep expanding your horizons and stuff and keep working on it, yeah. So back then when I did it, I was good at improvisation so I was like, okay. Okay, this is, I'm good at this one. Okay, cool. So we improvised the scene and um, it was really good. I don't really remember how it went because this was a good, like, can you say like maybe four, four years ago? So we did a scene and it went really good. Anyway, I left and I remember just thinking to myself, Coyote looks really familiar because I, 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 if you've seen my audition, my audition segment, my audition episode, uh, you'll know that I do not like to do too much uh, prep into who these people are that I'm seeing. Therefore, I did not actually know that Coyote was RS. I had no clue. I saw him and I'm thinking, you look so familiar. Do I know you from school or something? Like, do I know you from down the road? Are you James from down the road? Do you know what I mean? That's what I was thinking. But I had no clue who he was. Anyway, when I went home and obviously I didn't do any prep after that because what, like I say, once you finish the audition, leave it. So I left it at the door, I came home, got told that then um, my agent called me, I can't remember, maybe a couple of days after or something. My agent called me and was like, Georgia, you got your job, you got the job. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know how it is. So I got, I was so excited. Then um, I did my research and I found out that KOD is RS. And I was like, Chelsea. Never guess whose show I'm gonna be on. <laughs> My gosh. Then I went, I think the first step was the rehearsal process. So we went to, I can't remember the place, I can see the place in my mind. It's somewhere near Warren Street, some studio near Warren Street. And we went there for the rehearsals. So we come into the rehearsals now, I'm meeting KOD. And I'm a little bit excited, like more excited because like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm on a job. But also like, this is RS, you know what I mean? So I got there and um, he was just like straight to business. Like he is a hard worker. KOD is brilliant. And him doing this show, I think, it was a statement in a sense, like to show like, I'm not just RS, I'm diverse. Like I can do things like I'm, I'm a comedian, you know what I mean? And I respect him so much, so much because it's like, yeah, he did RS, but I see him as Coyote now. Do you know what I mean? So he, I think he did, he, I, th I watched the show after as well because it's all come, na come out now and it's like uh, the first se season, I watched the first season, which unfortunately I'm not a part of. But um, yeah, they, they had the first season of the show and I watched it and I thought it was 
really hilarious. If you've seen it, please leave a comment. Tell me that you like what what were your favorite bits and if you've enjoyed it. Even if you've seen the pilot, like when I show you the clip, are you gonna be like, oh, I remember that, or like I watched it, but I don't remember you, but cool. <laughs> so leave a comment. Let me let me hear what you let let me hear what's going on in there. So yeah, so for the rehearsals, we got there. KOD was like, hey guys, it was so nice, it was very welcoming. Also, Daniel Ezra was there as well. He was in the pilot as well. He was brilliant too. Like they KOD came with the scripts, like the massive scripts, and he was doing his thing. Like he was like, Yeah, this is how we're gonna move here. Then you also had the director there as well. But um, KOD essentially kind of was like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. And um, him and the director obviously were friends and they, they both brainstormed all these ideas. And it was brilliant because it was like, you could literally see the script come into life. It was wonderful. So we did our segment and we're like, yeah, this bit, this looks better for stand here. This is blah, blah, blah. So it was just all rehearsals. We rehearsed how it was going to be. And it was good. For the rehearsals as well, I think we went to the next room and we had a fitting. So we had the wardrobe fitting. So you have the ward people in wardrobe. They uh, take all your measurements and stuff and give you a bunch of stuff. So for this, I had school uniform, which is just funny. Every time I wear school uniform, I'm like, oh, I ain't been in school uniform for a very, 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 very long time. Now look at me and I still look the same. It's hilarious. So I had my school uniform on and yeah, it was it was a simple, it was quite a simple fitting because it was like shirt, uh, skirt, tie, cool. So we had that and then I think that was it and we went home. Then a couple of days later, we had the filming. Uh, we had, I had the driver, the driver had come pick me up then we went to a massive park. I couldn't tell you what park it is because I don't really, I don't think I knew back then and I still don't know now, but it was like one of the, a massive park because that's where it was shot. And we went there, we had lunch and stuff, put on our um, clothes, our dressing, our dress. And then we went to the school. Now I, this, the school, fun fact if you didn't know, Kaomi actually used to go to the school that we were outside. Um, so we went to the school and we did our filming for what we had to do there and the in, nearby they had like actually so we was at the school now and a lot of kids that go to school always grew up in the area they all knew KOD or knew of him and they kept coming over and KOD was like oh hi guys like he was just so nice and really like in tune with all the like, young people all the young people and stuff and it was really cool because they was just like admiring him taking pictures and stuff and they were so excited and but like when it was quiet on set, set they had to be quiet on set <laughs> so also like when it got i think we was waiting for something i think it was changing the camera positions or something we went into the, to the house and we was talking to so i um, alexis and i alexis um played my best friend in the show you'll see her at the end um, she, we, we went into the room, into the, the house with Kaomi and stuff and we were just talking and uh, getting to know each other and Daniel as well and he's just, they're both brilliant guys, like I cannot say how great they are, like Kaomi has made all these brilliant contacts, he's given me this wonderful opportunity which I was extremely grateful, grateful for and he's just a genuinely nice person like i genuinely enjoyed talking to him and he was really cool so um and he's hilarious <laughs> so yeah so that was all done and then we then we got dropped home and stuff and ah uh, i think i was on cloud nine i cannot express to you how sometimes you just really need that break like sometimes with acting it's like you're going up for things you're going you're going you're going and it feels like you're getting nowhere so when someone recognizes you and they're like yeah we like you can we can we have you and you're like don't come in <laughs> like it's just unreal i can't explain how great it is because it's after trying so hard and getting somewhere, it's so rewarding. I think I think that's the thing with acting. I feel like as an actor, you appreciate it much more because you know how hard you've worked to get there. You know how hard you've worked to get that yes. You know how much you've trained. 
you know you know the lengths that you've gone to to get this so when you get it you appreciate that much that, that much more now that might just be applied to me and a few others but i do genuinely believe that's how most actors feel like you just you appreciate that much more so i was really grateful and i think that was that was um, a setting stone for me being on enterprise because it was like i am good enough this is my mark and i'm going to keep putting my marks everywhere and going to keep progressing and doing what i can because at the end of the day i was i was extremely proud proud of myself i was so happy that i got the job so yeah i was just like onwards and upwards now there's no going back now i've made my i'm on the bbc therefore i can keep going like i'm, I'm going to keep going i'm going to keep pushing myself and i'm going to keep trying i'm going to take all those no's brush them off my shoulders and i'm going to keep going so that is currently what i am doing what i have done so yes anyway thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed acting up with g episode being on enterprise i hope you enjoyed it very much please if you enjoyed it share it share it let people know what i want hit that like button even if you didn't like it comment 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 i love to read comments i love to read people's feedback what they thought of the video how i can improve and stuff it's all a learning curve like this is my first youtube channel like ever and so i'm learning you know what i mean so god's willing it will keep i can keep growing within this youtube life and yeah so you guys are helping me to grow the end of the day and i hope that i'm helping you with some knowledge and some understanding about the industry and stuff and i hope you're really happy and those expectations are slowly being met <laughs> so thank you so much for watching anyway i hope you guys have a blessed day and stay safe keep going keep trying and when you get to that day you'll be so grateful and oh lord will it be a happy day Oh, happy day. Thank you so much. Let's act up. Hi, my name is Georgia Grant Anderson. I'm 20 years old and I live in South London. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, no. You're really Peng. Uh, hmm. Peng. Okay. So what do you do? We're entrepreneurs. That's what we do. Take this gear then. Make sure you call the best area of service in town, sisters. Speedy Cab will pick up whatever you need. It could be food, clothes, pregnancy tests. I won't tell your mum. Ha! <laughs> Look, you name it and we pick it. So, is this your number, yeah? That's the, it's the business number, okay? Just make sure you call. Bye. Bye, Ping Ping. <laughs> what? What? Excuse me. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, no. You're really paying. <sighs> okay. So, what do you do? Uh, we're entrepreneurs, yeah? That's what we do. Take this, gal them, all right? Speedy cats will pick up whatever you need. Yeah, could be clothes, could be food, pregnancy test. I won't tell your mum. Yeah. It's, yeah. So is this your number, yeah? It's, it's a business number, yeah? You're gonna call. You're gonna call on my IGs. Gone. I'll hear from you later. Bye, Pang Ting. <laughs> Keep it speedy. <laughs>